Beverly Valley is on high alert as we enter the third day since a local teenager by the name of Seven has gone missing. Police are asking everyone to be on the lookout as the girl was last seen wearing... You want to do something other than just listen to the news? Uh, sure. We can plan out our Halloween costumes, or we can listen to Taylor Swift. Oh, we could watch Foodie TikTok. I had something else in mind. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, look, I had a lot of onions on my burger, so now's probably not the best time. Relax. You act like we've never done this before. It's just like riding a bike. Is this a bad time to mention that I don't know how to ride a bike? <laughs> what was that? It's probably just a squirrel. Are you serious? I used to throw rocks as a kid at squirrels. Maybe they're finally getting revenge. Don't be scared. Cam, I think there's someone watching us. Can we go somewhere else? Will you calm down? Just drive! Oh, forget it, you're actually useless! Asiana was right. As always. I need to stop procrastinating and just get my revenge. How was your lasagna, baby? I couldn't eat any. It was not vegetarian. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait. <gasps> Excuse me. What was that? Why did we agree to go on a double date with them? Shh, you're distracting me from the tea. Cha, being insecure is not hot. Great, then go be with that waiter that you were flirting with all night. Babe, I wasn't flirting. Stop being such a drama queen. Okay, gaslighting much? She was totally flirting with that waiter. No matter what, Shrubby, I am never going on a double date with them ever again. Okay, don't be mad, but I may or may not have told Agnes that the four of us are dressing up as hot sauces from Taco Bell for Halloween. Stop it! Sorry. Stop! One second they're fighting, another second they're making out. What is wrong with them? They really need therapy. Strawberry, what's wrong? Am I seeing things or is there a baby in the middle of the road? Hi? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not a real baby. That is a toy. This night needs to end. Is that a... So you're telling me a student is missing? What's your name? Francine? Okay. 
She hasn't been back in class for one hour. Yes, I'll look into it. Thank you. Ugh! Seriously, that seven student goes missing and now everyone is just so paranoid. It's ridiculous. Oh, I hope she's okay. Her? I'm the one who needs a vacation. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, someone dropped this confiscated vape at my desk, but it doesn't have a name though. Okay, and? Why does everyone come for me for every little thing? Well, you are the principal. And you are all morons, it seems. Look, my job is to run this school and look fabulous doing it. Not figure out every little thing for you idiots. God, you're gonna make my head explode. Sorry for bothering you, Cinnamon. I'll try to do better. Thank you, Gladys, for doing your job. Gosh. Stupid Cinnamon. She's just mad that she's not as rich or as cool as La Siena again. She's taking it out on me. No, I can't. <laughs> I've never smoked before. It's so bad for you. But what's one puff gonna do? Really, what's the worst that can happen? What in the world? What happened? Strawberry, it's horrible. <laughs> Blueberry's best friend, Francesca, died. It's Francine, Mom! I do anything to hear her voice again! Francine is dead too? You're joking. How'd she die? She died young and beautiful, how else? Oh, sweetheart, no one dies. They always live forever. Somewhere. Where is she then? First Chad and Agnes, and now Francine. The secretary at school died today too. Bertha? <laughs> what is actually going on in this town, guys? I can't just sit around and cry all day. It's okay. I'm gonna put together a silent candlelight vigil for Francine. She wouldn't want it that. Oh, that's such a beautiful idea. Just be someone dies doesn't mean we can't celebrate their life. After all, death happens, accidents happen. Death happens? How could you say that, Mom? Get off her back, Blue. She's doing the best that she can. I get it, Mom. It's really hard when people just start dropping like flies. Seriously, shut up, Strawberry! Girls, don't make this harder by bickering. <sighs> We need to calm down. This incense will help us make sense of everything. Just what we needed, Mom, another lame pun. I thought it was pretty good. Oh, I'll get it. I'll wait for her to come back. Oh, hi, dear. Raja, why didn't you warn us you were coming? I would have changed into something. Connor, I heard about your friend on the news, Blueberry. I am very sorry for your loss. I'm sorry. This is all very tough for me. Oh, Raja, you're so sweet. You're sexy. I just wanted to come and drop some food off. I will drop more off tomorrow, but right now I have to go. No, stay. Maybe some other time. I have to go. What does that smell? Oh, we don't believe in deodorant in this house. Let me light some incense. We? Don't speak for me. No, you don't understand. It smells like... Oh, who cares? Just stay the night. Strawberry, please understand. I just have to go right now. No. Please. Please. Why do you have pictures of La Cienega with hearts on it? Please, there's just a lot going on right now. I have to go. Rush away. What is going on? <laughs> there, there, sweetheart. My world is falling apart, Mom. Francine. And now Raja saw me not cute. Oh, could this day get any worse? Mom. 
mom, ew. It's natural, honey. No, mom, it smells like really bad. You need to see like a doctor or something. You girls are so dramatic. Ugh. Oh my God, it's totally getting worse. Oh, I can't stand this. Give me a match. <laughs> Hey guys, no cooking roadkill video today. Instead, I want to talk about a great man who died. My steamy ex-boyfriend, Raja. I can still taste him on my lips. <laughs> it's because I stole his socks in grade 10 and I kissed them every night for good luck. Rudolph, get out of my closet. I have to talk to everyone. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was the bathroom. Now! Okay, let me just finish wiping. Ew! Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, I knew I shouldn't have gone to that funeral. Seeing all those caskets was just way too much for me. <sighs> Toots, I know it's hard, but this is the first time that you went outside since Cam died. You can't just hide forever. <sighs> I don't blame her. I never want to leave my bed again. But Strawberry wouldn't want that. She'd want me to get revenge for her death. Ah, oh, strawberries. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Revenge? What are you talking about, Cinnamon? Her death was an accident. Her death wasn't an accident. None of them were. I think there is a serial killer out on the loose, and they're targeting everyone who went to Beverly Valley High. And as the principal of Beverly Valley High, it's very concerning. You're joking, right? Actually, I was thinking the same thing. Look, I think we should just move on. There's no point of just dwelling over things that you can't change. Those deaths were an accident. I don't know. Why was Cam randomly on the same street as Chad and Agnes? How would I know? I wasn't with Cam that night. I mean, I wish that I was, because then maybe he'd still be alive. <laughs> oh, Todd, don't think like that. You can't beat yourself up forever. It's not your fault. It's pretty obvious who's behind this. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's Wednesday. What? 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 It can't be La Cienega. Of course it has to be. She's freaking crazy. And sexy. What? Fair, she is crazy. But she's also not in the country. What? Look, Rhea. La Cienega has been in Europe for the past few days. Oh, how I love Italy. The fashion, the architecture. Just I'm telling you guys, it's serenity. No, it's Wednesday, Adams. I think it's Wednesday too. Okay, so let's call the cops or tell someone else to deal with it. Why should we put ourselves in danger? Because we don't want justice. We want revenge. That means we have to catch this killer ourselves. Wednesday? Adams. Cinnamon, I think this house might actually be bigger than yours. Robert, this is not a time for lies. People are being murdered. Do you understand? Guys, I really don't think we should be breaking into the Adams family's house. Besides, I clogged the toilet upstairs. Oh. Ah! I think something's wrong with her. She looks like she's frozen. I thought it was a statue at first. No, she's just trying to be deep and mysterious. She's so annoying. Don't listen to her. We just have a few questions for you. Wednesday Adams, if that's your real name. You look more like a Monday to me. Where were you the night Raja Strawberry and her family died? Yeah, we're not accusing you of anything though. Oh no, we are. But aren't we really here because we think she's behind all the murders? Shh, don't listen to her. She, she was just talking about a board game we were playing. Yeah, whatever. Just answer our simple question and we'll leave. Wednesday, Earth to Wednesday, Adam. Oh, this girl. Wednesday, I'm talking to you. Wednesday. I'm gonna throw up. Guys, this is getting worse. Who thought it was Serenity? Me. Me. Get out of here. Oh my God, get out of here. 
What about her head? Hurry up, Rebar! Who am I gonna copy off biology now? Serenity, I know you're here. The family driver said he dropped you off here. Where the heck are- ah! <laughs> I don't know why I spend my nights crying that I never had siblings. You two suck the fun out of everything. Fun? That's what you call murdering people? Fun? Have you ever thought maybe doing a puzzle? Yeah, or liposuction? <laughs> what? Murder? What are you two blabbing about? Don't play dumb, Serenity. We know you're the one who's behind all these deaths. Yeah, we know you're a serial killer. Serial? Oh, what kind of monster are you? Everyone knows breakfast is the most important part of the day. Who kills cereal? Ha! Huh? You think I'm going around murdering people, and your bright idea was to be on this roof at night alone with me. <laughs> you guys should see the look on your faces. Oh my god, you're so gullible. I'm not a killer, you morons. I'm on this roof because I have a hot date with a stranger that I met on Tinder. You couldn't come up with a better lie? Yeah, where are they? You're worse than Rhea when it comes to boys. Hey. Say what you want, but it's true. I spent the last week putting together this outfit for tonight, so I didn't have time murdering your friends. Ask the driver, he'll tell you. Guys, I think she's telling the truth. Yeah, I think so too. Even though I can't believe that's what she's wearing to a first date. She's Rhea 2.0. I'm literally right here, toots. And you need to be somewhere else. All of you. My date will be here any minute. Scram. All right. Get out. So, what time should we go trick or treating? Tootsie, people are literally getting murdered. Okay, great. More candy for me. Oh, what's wrong with you? I can't believe somehow we're related. Mm, treats. Ah, oh, Cherry, babe, where have you been? Rhubarb, I think I know who's behind all the murders. What? what? Tell us right now. Okay. But you can't tell anyone that I told you. Of course. What do you know? There you are. I was just admiring how beautiful this picnic setup was. Being on this roof is so dangerous. Did you pick this place because you're a bad boy? Oh, we're getting right into it. Don't you think we should get to know each other first? Take off your mask. No? Look, Seven didn't just go missing for no reason. Think about it. The murder started a few days after Seven went missing, right? Three days later, yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? Jerry? <sighs> how is it possible? How, how are you alive? <gasps> oh. oh, okay. Oh, oh, no, maybe let's not. Maybe let's not. Maybe let's not. <laughs> there, when he died, you're the. <laughs> oh, no. First, my phone died, and then my girlfriend, Serenity, popped my cherry. Why would Serenity. Kill herself? She didn't kill herself, you idiot! The murderer probably pushed her off, and they're probably coming after us next. Just get out of here! <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, trying to get revenge. I'm getting as far as possible from this town as I can. Guys, come on! We can't let them get away with this. We have to catch them for strawberry. Uh, strawberries. Good luck with catching them. I'm gonna catch this flight. I'm gonna miss you! I thought you guys couldn't afford private jets anymore. We can't. We have a tab open with Jeff Bezos. I don't really know how we're gonna pay him back though. But it's not too late to get on the plane. What do you say? It does seem really tempting. Rhubarb, what do you think? Well, there is a killer on the loose. But then again, there's not much food on that plane. So I don't know if I would survive either way. R Rhubarb! What? I'm just being... Oh, a cheese puff! 
Scooper, watch, watch out! out. <gasps> oh, my leg! I'm gonna throw up. <gasps> oh my god, Rhubarb, your leg! Uh, I've had chicken leg and turkey leg before, but I've never had rhubarb leg. I wonder what that tastes like. No, Rhubarb, stop! They can still reattach it! <gasps> what? I'm hungry! Ooh, a cheese puff! The BVH field? Why? I just feel like we're 100% safe here. Uh, no one can sneak up on us. I guess. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, I can't take much more. Oh. I can't wait for this to be over. Ria, are you okay? I mean, as okay as you can be, considering the fact that everyone we grew up with is dying. Why was Cherry scared of you? What? You heard me. Why was Cherry scared of you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she was afraid of the creepy alleyway or something? Tootsie, I know when you're hiding something. Okay, fine. The night that Cam died, I was, I was with him in the car. But then I heard something really scary from outside, so I got out and ran away. Next thing I know, Cam's dead. I'm sure the person that I saw was the one who did it. And I'm guessing no one else saw this person, just like no one can confirm that you were home the night Gladys and Strawberry died. No, I didn't tell people that I was with Cam that night because I thought that if people knew that I was with him when he died, they would just assume that I killed him. But you didn't? No, of course not. Rhea, do you think I had something to do with it? I don't know. Cherry thought you did it and now she's dead. And I pushed Serenity off the building while I was standing right next to you? Come on, Rhea, you're smarter than this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just, like, freaked out and I don't know why this is happening to us. I know, me neither, but it is and we have to figure out who it is. Hey. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Someone's covered with the engine. We're going down. Are you serious? Maybe it's a seven chick who's behind everything. Who? Oh, Rhea, I love how you incorporate your culture into everything that you do. What are you talking about? You're bindi. You're literally glowing. Or maybe that's just your bindi glowing. What? Bindi? <gasps> oh, Rhea, no! Oh, no, 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 Please, please, please don't kill me. Please, please, please. please. Oh, okay, he spared my life, oh thank god! Rhea! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, not my best friend! Everyone that I love is dead! No! We're no! No! Ah! Huh? Oh, 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 crap! And that's how I would kill everyone and get away with it. If I had to, of course. Not that it would ever come to that. <laughs> <laughs> You've got such a rich imagination. Thank you. And I'd get away with the whole thing. Because I'd make that little seven girl who looks like me travel the world posting stories as if she was me. Oh, I just love Italy. The fashion, the architecture. Gorgeous. My British accent's so good. I love it. Time for pasta. Brilliant, right? Yes, <laughs> brilliant. Um, oh, I, I couldn't help but wonder, the, uh, the Rhea girl. The plane crash would have taken care of her. Why did you kill her separately? Oh, I know it would. She's just so annoying. Killing her separately is just more satisfying. <laughs> Of course. See, this is why I like you. You understand me. You don't lecture me about silly things like right or wrong. Oh my gosh, look at the time. I better get going. I have a party to get to. Same time next week? Perfect. Happy Halloween. I don't get paid enough for this. Hey, Rasha. Nice costume. 
Really? You think so? You're too sweet. Ah, I have a treat for you. It is Halloween after all. Why do you keep giving me photos of yourself? What am I supposed to do with this? You're a smart boy. I'm sure you'll figure something out. See you around. She really is a weirdo. It's back. Blood. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all, it's not that. It's like riding a bike. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry. Sticky. It's hot in here. La Sienega. Oh. Why'd you hit me? I want barbecue. That cremation made me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to see my lightning hole. Oh, fuck. You're the murderer! <laughs> Not that it would ever come to that. Wait, what's my line? Not that it would ever come to that. If I had to, of course. As I, so I switched it and I. Not that it would ever come to that. If I had to, of course. I did it, I switched it again. Not that it would ever come to that. <laughs> Me. Not that it would ever come. Not that I would ever. Why can't I remember it? Killing her separately is just so satisfying. Come here. Nice costume. And the Academy Award goes to. If that's your real name, look a little more like a. You look more like a Monday to me. Fuck, sorry. <laughs> Why? I wasn't sitting in the car. I was unloading. You were sitting in the car. I want to block it. Huh? I want to block it. Block it? Yeah. No, I didn't do my makeup because I don't want to walk up and down sometimes. <laughs> What were you guys arguing about? We're arguing about how many of our characters died. We're doing a tally. We're actually talking about who's the most important. And I think that this channel runs because of me. Like if Rhea got the boot, we would miss like one character. If I got the boot, we'd miss like 17 characters. Relax, you play Rhea's dad and that's all you're good for. I'm okay with that. Jump. Did it again to your heart in this place, baby. Carpenter, push her. Push her. You have one job. Push her. <laughs> You've been training your whole life for this. No, but I can't go to jail. Why are you giving me this? I can't go to jail. Perfectly dressed up to go to jail. <laughs> Perfectly. Give me another song. I'm a jukebox. Okay. Assistance galore. <laughs> Wait, Dana, I'll take this. Look how cute that is. My arm hurts. We're about to blow up. I already got flashed tonight, okay? Someone was peeing in that alley. We made eye contact. And that's how I met your father. The serial killer on the loose. And they're targeting everyone who went to Beverly Valley High. <laughs> you're laughing. You are! Stop it! No, don't! No, stop it. So what happened when Daniel's on here? Daniel, you can't to me! I'm gonna do it! <laughs> oh my god, I fell on your thing! Get it! That was so funny. It's a diaper! Is it dirty? Dan, what the heck is that? It's some fucking guy walking. It's Rhea coming back. She crashed the car. <laughs> That's so terrifying. Is the, what do you mean it's not? There's literally a guy walking in the middle of the street as I'm doing a Halloween episode. Like, are you kidding me? It's literally the it clown. Tell me because he. No, I'm asking you. Tell me why. We're so, we're so, we're <laughs> guy, 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 we're guy. We're side is touching the same wheel. This one, left hand. So there. Right on my receiving hairline. I have the one that called. That's not working. And vengeance. Oh my god, it's a seal. Oh my god, camp. Put your piss water on. I feel bad. Camp. I go to camp. I'm crying. I was like, why does that sound? Why does that sound? Why does that sound?